Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Python programming. In this video, you will be introduced to the concept of objects in Python. Now, what are objects in Python? Well, all the data that we manipulate or use in our operations in our code are represented as objects or relations between objects. So if you want an example, two numbers that you add in your code, well, both of them are objects and they're usually numeric type objects. Similarly, if you want to store someone's name or an address of your hometown in your code, you usually store it in a form of text, and that text is also an object, usually a string. Similarly, you might want to create a container of different smaller objects inside them, and that big container is also a type of an object, and one of those containers are called lists. And similarly, we have many different types of objects which we will be covering during the duration of this course. The following pictorial representation gives us a broad classification of different Python data types and objects. As we can see, there are five broad classifications, numeric, which contains integers, complex numbers, and floats. We have the dictionary data type. We have the Boolean, which essentially consists of objects that have only two valid values, true or false. Then we have sets, and we have sequence data types such as strings, lists, and tuples. Every object in Python has three important properties that kind of define that particular object. They are its identity, its type, and its value. The identity of an object is, it can be considered as a place in the memory or its address in the memory where an object is stored. An object's identity does not change once it has been created. So for example, if I took an example of say a string called hello i can use the id function which is this is how you use the id function to find out the id of this object and it should be uh the answer should be in the form of uh, a particular long integer so as you can see the id of hello is this integer 23264766230024 similarly all objects in python have an identity we have another operation with uh, regarding the identity of an object is the is operator and the is operator compares the identity of two objects so if two objects have the same identity it should give the answer true otherwise false now the next property of objects is the type the type of an object is essentially uh, what defines what kind of values and operations that that object can have so for example a numeric data type in python such as an integer would allow us to do arithmetic operations and similarly, string object type in Python will allow us to do concatenation operations. Much like its identity, the type of an object cannot be changed as well. Now let's see what's the type of that particular object that I had shown you above. As you can see, it should be string. str stands for string. Similarly, if I did a type for a number, say 50, it should give me int, as you can see. Now the third property of an object in Python is its value. Now the value is the actual data that is contained in the object. It's the thing that we use, that we display, that we can manipulate and that we can perform operations on. So for example, if I were to talk about this string, this string is hello. So the value of the string is the word or the sequence of letters that spell out hello. And similarly, this particular object is a numeric object with the value 50. Let's see, in this, in this pictorial representation, I have shown you that you can assume this dark blue area as the memory of the system. Now within this memory, we have objects created called 50 and hello and this list containing smaller objects called cat, pen and 40. Now what I'm trying to show you here is each of these objects have a type, an ID and a value. And let's see what they are. So if I wanted to see, as we had already seen the type of 50, now let's find the ID of 50. As you can see, we get this unique ID for the object 50, which is obviously not the same as the ID of the object hello above. And the value of this object is the value well 50 itself. So that was a brief introduction into objects in Python. In case you found this video helpful, do like this video and subscribe to our channel. And once again, thank you for watching.